Good afternoon, preppers. Welcome to Goshen Prepping. Listen, I had to make this video because America, we are under attack. And I'm here, we have to expose these attackers. Now, I'm not talking about necessarily physical attack with boots on the ground, even though I'm sure that's happening too, but more of a psychological warfare. It's been going on for a while. And Americans are falling every single day, falling for Russian propaganda. Now, for many, this video is controversial. It's going to get people really mad, want to shut it off, and I get that. I, I think you should stick through it, though, because you have to understand that the idea for this video was sparked by two things, and I want you to see what those things are. First, comments by viewers of the channel. Um, disturbing comments, mind you. Serious pro-Russian bot comments. Okay. Now, I made a video a couple days ago talking about Ukraine, the history of Ukraine and Russia, and it was flooded with these pro-Russia comments, and I couldn't believe it. And I get these comments on occasion, but this is absolutely overwhelming. Okay, now secondly too, just that, that video came out, an article came out as well, and we need to look at this article and we need to address this. Agree with us or else, Soviet-style totalitarian spirit afoot in America. And we won't spend a lot of time in this article. The first thing the communists did after the 1917 Russia Revolution was round up anyone who disagreed with them. They shut down newspapers and denied public forums. And this included their useful idiot socialist. I'll be talking about that in just a minute. Now, the article goes into example after example of how this is happening in America. In America. But I want to address the situation we're in. You know, I ponder about these Russian bots. And I wonder, where do they get their information? Where do they get their foundation from? Because these people didn't just come up with it on their own. Okay, Somebody got them started on this path. Okay, They're not original thinkers, mind you. And... Uh, you have to understand and look at them. They're simply just parrots. That's the best way to describe these Russian bots. All right, a great example. Um, I used to, just part-time, I used to be an actor. Really enjoyed it, trying to step out of my normal personality. And one day we were doing a shoot at the University of, Mi University of Miami. I was playing a college professor. And uh, we got down there doing some work. And do you think we talked about how the scene was to be set up? Or what were the lines for the film? No, I was cornered by a Marxist student who went on on how much America was the world's scourge. And this is actually the first step because understand colleges and our education system has been infiltrated. And is this where all these Russian bots are coming from? Unlikely, because I find a lot of these Russian bots weren't really in college. They simply are getting it from places, probably, unfortunately, from YouTube videos. I say all the time, I really enjoy it when our followers say, hey, watch this video. And there's a few channels. I'm not about trashing channels, although I'm getting to a point where I probably need to. But these channels, I'll respond to them and said, you shouldn't be watching this channel because it's filled with garbage. Okay. Now, sometimes they're just reading other people's comments. And that's actually where the problem comes in. Because as these bots make comments on our channel, on my channel that I put all this work into, it's not allowed. Because... Just the average Joe American may look at this and say, huh, some of this is actually all the problems going on with our government right now. This kind of makes sense. Maybe maybe Ukraine is the bad guy. Maybe there are Nazis in Ukraine. Have you heard that one? Ukraine is about money laundering or child trafficking. And maybe Russia's the good guy. Maybe Putin is really just going against the New World Order. And uh, Putin was forced to fight against Ukraine. NATO and CIA forced this country to invade its neighbor, but they still call Ukraine the aggressor. I see how that works. And all this pro-Russian propaganda, simply put, is founded on lies. This is, you need to listen to this, this is, after all, what Russia does, and Russia does very well. They've done this for generations. And it seems to be what blows my mind is some Americans have never heard this before. I've been hearing about this since I was a kid. And then even in the Cold War, Russia's all about lying propaganda. Okay. Now, it seems that these people, these bots, without studying history or, in my case, seeing firsthand what some of these Soviets have done, they fall into this trance and they're like, these Russian bots are right. Well, we must simply just regurgitate what they're putting across. And here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Are you ready for this? This is part of Russia's plan as well. That, that article we just looked at calls them useful idiots. Let's look at that. A useful idiot. Maybe you've never heard of this term. If you've never heard of it, it's an attitude held by Vladimir Lenin toward communist sympathizers in America. While Lenin and the Soviets held them under contempt, they also viewed them as tools for dispensing communist 
propaganda to other countries, thus infecting foreign cultures with their totalitarian tripe. After the mission was complete, they were no longer useful. It's also a term that refer refers to brainwashed American Marxists who blindly support any ideology that gets themselves out of real work and causes others to pay their way. So instead of calling them Russian bots, in which they are, we should call them from what they are, useful idiots. Now with this, understand I'm talking to the true Goshen prepping people. And when I actually say Americans, I don't necessarily mean you actually have to live in America, but at least understand freedom, understand democracy, understand our republic, understand how it works. So you useful idiots, that's what I'm going to call you from now on, I'm not talking to you. That Russian garbage you spew out of your mouth, okay, it's simply just that. It's just garbage. Someone else has spewed out and you just, like a robot, you just as a parrot, regurgitate it and keep saying it. You're just a tool. That's all you are. You are deceived by an evil empire that is bent on changing America. You, you useful idiot, you have no place here. I am not talking to you specifically. You need to get out of the way. Your propaganda comments are not welcome. I am talking to the true Americans or the lovers of democracy, the ones who continuously have to read this bot garbage that you guys spew out. And just like any liar, because that's what you are, these idiots will use half-truths to make their arguments sound appealing. That's what they do. Or if you call them out on the propaganda and actually say, look, proof that you're basically being a useful idiot, they'll say things like, well, uh, America dropped nuclear bombs and America's been controlling the world and America's the evil one, not our, our cuddling, loving Russia. No, that couldn't be the case. And I'll say it again. Listen, America got, has its problems. There are leaders in this country that are hell-bent on trying to make America fall. But you have to understand, there are leaders in this country who are very good people trying to look out for us, trying to look out for the best for this country. Unfortunately, just like every country, America has these bad leaders. America's not the only one. But, you know, as I say, you don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Okay, because America, it is the best foundation for the world. It's, the only, it's only these useful idiots and the puppeteers that want to make you think America is evil and our system is evil. And unfortunately, many of these people are in politics in America right now, not even have to call out names. I think if you study this at all, you know exactly what's going on. So take care, America. Goshen prepping is here for truth. We will expose these useful idiots, and I will not pull up, put up with their stuff anymore. Because at Goshen prepping, we are pro-America pro-democracy, anti-communist, anti-socialist, and anti these useful idiots. You have no place here. You're not welcome. And your comments will be deleted and you'll be blocked from this channel because it's not simply just a matter of opinion. You are disseminating garbage lies. Okay, It's all propaganda. And the final word, how do you know who these useful idiot robot, robot bots are? It's real simple. They're the ones that will be unsubscribing from this video because I'll put a video out like this and for like the next few hours, we'll see the sub count go down for a little bit. Then the truthful Americans will come in and start picking back up again. So take that lesson, my friends, useful idiots, and I call that term friends very loosely, by the way, go ahead and leave. Just don't let the door hit you on the way out because as for you, you Americans, the real people, you need to get the word out. These tr uh, useful idiots are hell-bent in trying to trash our system. So talk with your neighbors, friends, family, anybody to listen and share this video because out of all the choices we have, I choose freedom and I choose America.